Okay. Okay. This is the second part of the functions tutorial, and uh, we will see how to use the functions with this uh, application. So first, let's see what the application does. Okay. Here we have a test for a number of functions. The first one is factorial. When you hit this button, you will be asked which number you would like to find the factorial for. Let's say four. And when you hit OK, uh, the function to compute the factorial is executed and you get the result. Same for sum. You will enter a number, a second one, the third one, and you will get the total. Now, you can also have another function that work with arrays. This one is used to find the maximum number of uh, in an array. So how, now first you are asked how many elements you would like to enter. Let's say you want to enter uh, six elements and the numbers are 80, 89, 50, something like that. Okay. And you the maximum value is 89 and the average of an array let's say we have three elements and the numbers are 66 88 and 44 and you get the average is 66 okay so let's get into the code okay the code is actually uh, very simple uh, let's start with uh, with the easy part okay the factorial function which we saw in the slides okay this is the factorial function uh, here you have the name okay and as we said we write the name to be meaningful so that we can remember here's the parameter every time I call the function I should pass a number and the number will be placed into this variable okay and this function will return a double I have a variable here. I have a count uh, for computing the uh, factorial, and the i is an, a loop counter. The initial value of f is one, and there's here it is my loop to compute the factorial. Finally, when I finish execution, I return f, which has the factorial in it. Okay, so let's let's go back to the code of it. Uh, sorry, what I mean here is the function call here I have my number the number I enter from the screen and R is the factorial R for the result I chose it. okay now my number equal input box input box is a built-in function that we used many times okay it display this text on the screen and it will show us this message box uh, sorry, this input box we enter a value and it will return to us. So we read the number at first, and then the uh, uh, the numbers then is passed as a parameter into the factorial function. Okay, so let's uh, trace this program uh, this program when we press the factorial button and see what happens. I'll put a break uh, point in here, okay, and run the application. Now I press factorial. Okay, we can see the execution stops and, and this is statement. Okay, so uh, I'll use debug uh, step into, okay, and I get this one. Let's say I want the factorial of number 5. Okay, so here we can see we get the result 5. Now, we are calling the function factorial and passing the parameter 5 on my number to it okay so uh, we get to execute here you can see the execution just jumps into here and you find n is 5 because it's the parameter that we just passed okay and again uh, step into the execution start debug step into and so on I cannot use the F10 because this will stop the recording because the same the same shortcut key is used uh, in the recording of program okay so anyway uh, you, uh, you get the idea here okay so debug step into step into 
and so on let me finish the execution just to the last step okay and here we get the result 120 and now when I tell it to to execute you can see here we finish the execution and now the value f is returned and now when I tell the program to go back you can see we just came back here to back step we can see here that r is now 120 which is the value returned from the function call and we are using in to display this message box so this is basically how how it works okay you can debug other functions to see uh, how, how, how it works as well okay now let's check other functions let's check the the sum function the sum function is actually a very simple one I just wanted to show you how to write a very generic function we read three numbers one two three and we just call the function and the sum function is here it is just the simple line okay this this is the name and these are the three values we are computing the total with, without any temporary variables and returning the result just in one simple step the R function could be as simple as that or could be as complex as thousands of steps of uh, thousands of statements okay so uh, there's no problem with that okay another example that uh, that will be useful is uh, this one is when dealing with the arrays here we are defining an array but we didn't specify its dimensions okay uh, that's because we are going to generate it when we 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 read it uh, uh, when we call the function so we are going to create a function to read the array whenever we need to and another function is to get the maximum value okay so let's see what read array does uh, this is read ar uh, where is it there it is okay so here we have a counter and there's here is the number of elements so first we get how many elements do do we want and then we define the function to okay here we are using a minus one because we have the element zero okay so we define the array and then we are looping on all the elements of the array reading them from the screen one after the an another finally we are returning the array if you want to return an array you can see here you just add these brackets after the data type and the compiler will understand that this is not a single value but it's actually an array also one important thing to note here is that this function does not take any parameters okay so uh, some of your function might not need to okay let's see the the other function uh, get max and this is get max you are passing of an array so you have your number you have the maximum and here uh, you are you are assuming the first value is the maximum you are looping on all the value if there's a value greater than your max you correct with uh, you correct max and finally you return the maximum number okay the average is something similar we are just computing the total and finally dividing the total by number of elements to get the average okay <clears throat> so uh, again let's uh, look at the average here we also use read array because we already have this function so there is no need to write the function again or or write the code to read the array again we just use the function whenever we need to we we also call read array and here here we get the average okay if we would like to we can even uh, g get the maximum number as well okay we just we just add another variable and uh, just call get max it's as simple as that so uh, uh, just uh, if, if you'd like to you can trace your program again and uh, see what happens when you are calling the other function but actually uh, but uh, in fact they all work the same way uh, so, I uh, hope this will be a useful tutorial for you. Uh, check out the website to download the source file and download the tutorial in PDF format. 
comment and rate this tutorial to improve it. Uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day.